<laughs> I don't even know how to replicate that sound. <laughs> Why are you replicating it? Because I started filming and then realized you were making sound and I was like, oh, whoops. No, don't be sorry, it was my bad. Um, um, we're starting moving! I'm so excited. Hi, hello, my name is Michaela. I'm a PhD student at the University of Tübingen, but I'm originally from New Zealand. My husband and I moved to Germany in December of 2021 for me to do my PhD studies over here in Germany. And if you've been here for a while, you know that we have moved two times in Germany already. When we first got here, we had to move to Stuttgart because we couldn't find a place in Tübingen. And then we got uh, offered a place in student accommodation and that's where we've been living. It's 30 square meters, it's like super small, but we've managed to make it work for us. We've redecorated, we've, I'm not entirely excited for the actual packing process, I think. I think it might be slightly stressful, but I'm so, so excited. Rejigged it, we've done what we can with it to make it work for us, but we have finally found a long-term apartment in Tübingen and we move in six days, which is like blowing my mind that this time next weekend, we're gonna be like moving in. So I thought I would start the video now by doing like a packing up our life here vlog and then vlog the moving in process. I'm so excited. It's like double the space to what we have here. so. We're gonna do what we can with it and like it's unfurnished whereas this place at the moment is mostly furnished with just like too much random stuff and so we're excited to start from scratch and yeah let's get packing. She goes her own way like I don't give a damn girl and my god she owns it. So many heartbreaks goes back to 2014 and I think that she knows it. If you've seen her, I know that you would believe it Cause I, I know that you'd want her to Yeah, I do Everyone's taking their shot But missing out on the cut I think she knows that She drives some crazy when she's looking like that The way she's moving makes her want it so bad I've put all of this into boxes And I've left it open so that we can still use the stuff, but it means that it's all like we can just pick it up and put it in the in the car Which is very nice. We've also cleared out all of this stuff with the stuff that we're not going to be using over the next week Yeah I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you if you wanna take it back to the fifties, maybe I'm not the guy for you. You're dying not to work, but work until you die, you know that's true. Have you thought it through? Uh, Cause you love to tell me what to do. Say no, I'm not like you, I don't think that you get it. So this is the update, we've uh, started packing lots and lots of boxes, started stacking them over here. I've cleared up all my stuff and I'm either going to work on Luke's desk or on this desk here and I'll just move them on stair. And then through here, most of the books are gone and the other side of the bed is also empty. I didn't film it but this is empty so I'm just going to put this back, put the bed back and then keep packing. <laughs> Good morning, it is Wednesday, it's Wednesday, and we are moving in two days. Well, we're getting the keys in two days, but we're only starting to move on the Friday. But I realized that on Saturday when we did our big packing up day, that I never actually showed you the final outcome of what it's all looking like, so I thought I've been staring at this thing for the last three days. I should probably do that now. <laughs> So this is kind of what we're dealing with. You can't really see the whole thing in the shot, unfortunately. But all of this on the table is basically packed up stuff that we still need to access. So like the gym stuff, it's still unsealed so that we can access it. And same with Luke's desk stuff. 
this is like paperwork and stuff that we need to access and then just random stuff on top of it but it is paperwork that we've still needed to access these two things aren't full we're gonna fill those with clothing probably I don't know Friday or Saturday before the move uh, that doesn't have Luke's monitor yet we're gonna only do that probably on Saturday I don't know we'll see but we actually got our ikea delivery which if you saw my last video of a whole bunch of random deliveries that we got i didn't put this in because obviously i can't open it and show you guys and so i have got it all and i'm just gonna put it on the screen now in this video what we bought you can kind of see here though it is upside down it is upside down so imagine that twisted around and then i'll put the photo magically on the screen but we got that as well as two bedside units which i'm going to build as soon as we get to the new apartment and thankfully we still have one more box left and so there's a whole bunch of kitchen stuff like up here that i still haven't put away yet obviously we're going to need to transport the oven all that kind of stuff and so i'm glad that we still have at least one more box and basically the plan that we're going with because we don't have enough boxes is that we're going to on Saturday move the majority of the boxes and just unpack as much as we can even if it's just like putting it into piles unfortunately but we're gonna put all the bedroom stuff in the bedroom and all the office stuff in the office and then we're gonna come back and Sunday we're gonna pack up all the rest of the stuff and go to the new apartment and build the furniture put everything away so that on Monday everything can just be moved so hopefully by unpacking all of the boxes and repacking them all we'll be able to get everything because it's just we just ran out sometimes that happens but yeah that's basically the state of the packing at the moment the other thing to show you is my desk which you will have seen if you've seen any of my other videos recently basically I've gone back to this desk from my last apartment we bought this when we were living in Stuttgart because we only had a studio apartment but basically this folds up like this and it like comes out so it's stable and everything but I've basically been using this because it packs away nice and easily it's nice and small but it also means that I can open it out because obviously this was my desk and I'm not able to use that right now because everything's packed away so yeah that's kind of everything to update on I don't really think I have anything else to update on until we start packing again on Friday I'm gonna pack like a weekender bag because I want to get all of the clothing away and so since we're just going to be moving until Monday I don't need to have any like nice clothing or anything this has just been for the office so hopefully I can put all of that stuff away and just leave out probably workout gear if I'm honest if we're going to be lifting boxes on packing stuff I'm going to be wearing workout gear so I'm going to make a weekender bag of workout gear for Luke and I and I'm going to pack our like toiletries as if we were going away because that's something that I heard about on TikTok is packing as if you're going away and that way you don't accidentally pack stuff that you need while you're moving house so yeah that's basically the plan but I will leave you there and I will pick you up again probably on Friday when we've got the keys guess what time it is huh? guess what time it is uh, yeah. time to go down it is Friday I've literally been counting down the days for the last like no <laughs> oh I can finally see what it says on my phone I've been counting it down for the last I think 28 days look what it says zero days I know it's in German sorry I've put my phone into German but I cannot believe it's finally time so if you've missed anything else in any of these videos so far basically uh, it's Friday and we are picking up the keys we're gonna do an empty apartment tour which I'm so excited for but we're only starting the move tomorrow so we're not actually doing anything else for the rest of today which is kind of sad but also like it's just the way of things it's just the way it's worked out so we're literally just gonna go there get the keys sign the paperwork have a walkthrough and then measure. sorry we're Oh, we're gonna measure stuff as well. So I should probably bring like a notepad or something. And we're gonna measure stuff as well. It's exciting, all this stuff is happening. But the move only starts tomorrow. So I just wanted to say, hi, hello, welcome, we're moving. And I'm so excited for this whole process to start and for us to move in and oh, it's just gonna be the greatest thing ever. Do you know what that means? It means we have keys. It's so 
so exciting. We didn't end up filming anything there because we got there and we did a walkthrough with our landlord and the last tenant that was there, the person that we got this from because I knew her from my department, she had borrowed a lot of furniture from him because she was only going to be there for six months and also she had come to Germany with like nothing and she was the first tenant in this place and so he was like look we'll just leave this stuff in there and then when you leave and the new tenants move in we'll get rid of it and so we had a walk through with him to figure out what he wanted us to write into the contract and so yeah there was a bunch of stuff that we got rid of and a bunch of stuff that we kept and so we did that and then Luke and I went through and we measured a bunch of stuff because we wanted to just to make sure that it all the stuff that we bought were going to fit and figuring out where we wanted to put stuff and oh, it was so exciting. But then the cleaning lady came and this was the whole thing was that uh, the last tenant, so the friend that I got this from, rather than cleaning it herself because she had such a tight schedule, she paid for a cleaning lady to come but she could only come today. So we did the walk around and everything and then we left and the cleaning lady started. And she said she was going to be there for like four to five hours so there was no point us going back. So that's why I didn't film anything, didn't photograph anything, like nothing. But I feel like it's a nice cliffhanger to finish this video on because I am just going to start packing again. And then tomorrow we start the moving, which is so exciting. We have our washing machine coming tomorrow and we've got a friend who's got a car who's going to help us move some stuff, which means we're going to be building some stuff and we're going to be unpacking a whole bunch. So I'm so I'm so excited but I think that's where I'm gonna leave this video here so thank you so much for coming along this video with us where I started packing stuff in our house and just yeah like ending up this chapter here which is kind of sad but also like ridiculously exciting we only have two more nights left in this apartment we've got tonight and then tomorrow night and then from Sunday we're gonna be sleeping in a new place which is just so crazy like it feels so surreal but it's also just really exciting so yeah thank you for being on this journey with us as we've looked for places in Tübingen and like finding this place that we were so lucky to find well so lucky to be offered and our time living here and yeah I just feel like it's been such an incredible place for us and it's been ridiculously cheap so we've been able to travel so much but yeah I am ready this next chapter I'm so excited for this new place and all the space we're gonna have and yeah anyway thank you uh and I will see you with another video very soon